All right, guys. We're here on Table Rock Lake. Out here in Missouri, Arkansas border. And uh, this is this is it. Long time no see. What's up, guys? We are here, actually, on the way to Table Rock for the sixth stop of the Bass Pro Tour. Getting ready to uh, probably got like three, four more hours to go. Left this morning. Last time y'all seen me, we had a tough day out there on Smith Lake. And if you haven't watched the Smith Lake video, make sure to go back. I'll let you go watch. Um, there's actually a two-parter. Woo! And bumps, man. I'm telling you what. Bumps are two-parter. So go back to that video. Watch it. Um, if you want to watch them, I can order, I guess. If not, if it's the first time watching one of my videos, I appreciate you. Hey, for all you guys who watch it day in and day out, thank you so much. Seriously, I can't even thank you enough. It's been a lot of fun starting to grow this channel. And, um, some of the stuff. Hopefully you're learning a few things. Hopefully you're getting a few laughs. Um, but now it's time to bit for business. You know, got to get down to business. Got to get ready to go to Table Rock. And you know, I, I, I rigged up a couple rods. I still have a little bit of tackle rigging to do. We have our meeting here. It actually starts at 4:30 this afternoon, and then practice starts tomorrow. So. Real quick rundown of Table Rock. I sort of did this at Smith Lake, so I just thought, you know, I don't always want to start the vlog in my truck, but since we do travel, you guys want to understand, we travel so much, we're glorified truck drivers sometimes, so I spent a lot of my time in my Toyota Tundra, so I figured why not um, just step right here. And you got Ted in the back still creeping like he always is over the ducky rods, you know how that is. So anyway, Table Rock. Run down Table Rock. The weather out here has actually been pretty cool. I assume, like, I mean, like 60s, I think ish, maybe like high 70s. Water is up. So, one thing that I've been, I've been paying attention to water level. It's always a good thing to check and make sure you can see what's going on. Water level was up five feet um, just about uh, four or five days ago. It's actually dropped close to half a foot. Um, not dropping super fast, but I think they do have the floodgates on, which means we're going to have a lot of current running through the lake. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be a spawn, post-spawn tournament. Very similar to Smith, but you have smallmouth in this lake and some really big large mouth to be had. You have all three species. You have smallmouth, spotted bass, at least the three main species, smallmouth, spotted bass, and largemouth and table rock. It's, you know, it's Ozark Lake, um, which, you know, well-known, you know, finesse tactics. But on top of that, um, big topwaters, wake baits. Um, with the water being the bushes, I would say the bushes are going to play. Um, on top of that, I would say... You're gonna see um, the shad spawn play again. You know, uh, we have some warmer weather coming this week. We have some 80 degree temperatures and those 60 degree nights. And when that, that moment kicks in the shad spawn on top of that, we have a full moon coming in four days. So if the full moon will do one or two things, it'll actually, if there's fish that haven't spawned, it'll push the rest of them probably up there to spawn. And then it'll start the shad spawn up if it already hasn't started. So I assume there probably is a few of them already started, um, but it'll, it'll probably be really, really good fishing and the numbers should be really good. But but we gotta keep on driving and um, just have three, three more hours until we get there. So we'll see you guys there. All right, what's up everybody? We just got here to our spot now. One thing that's hard, let's see if these things lighting can change, there we go. One thing that's really hard when uh, is when you have four guys staying in one house together and trying to find parking for four rigs. Um, so that's when you get caught up on this hill right here. Set up right there. Adrian's got him. He's already here. Mark and Dustin doing a little bit of an appearance. Adrian down here. And now it's our little house down that way. So we're here. We made it. I do have to get some rods rigged. I'm gonna check out the spot though real quick here. See what this place looks like. Now Alicia's flying in at nine o'clock. Say what's up to Adrian. Say yo, yo, yo. Catching bass this week. We'll say what's up Adrian. Or not. Or don't say nothing. <laughs> Dang. He's still your freaking he's he's motivated. Try to catch some bass. So pretty pretty as I'll get out. It's got a little creek right here. We got a pond down there in the bottom. So if I don't catch one this week, might be alright and catch one there. Let's see if this thing's open, I don't even know. Ooh. Is he coming in? What's so pretty? Goodness gracious, it's pretty in here. Got this open, Tanisha's out there right now, hanging out. Got it all set up. Looking pretty good. 
Got to find out where my room's at, but then they went to Mark. Hey, look, I got to shout my boy Mark MBJ out. Already went to the store and got us some food. My man. Good morning, good morning. What's up, everybody? We are here day one at Table Rock. Practice, that is. Trying to find us a place to park. Got settled in. Mark, DC, Adrian's here. Brian's back. Brody's coming in tomorrow, and uh, it is already daylight. Pretty day, pretty pretty bright outside so far. But I'll tell you what, I'm excited for this one because these fish are gonna be biting. So we're gonna get around, get out here and run around a little bit, see what's going on. The water's pretty clear. We actually launched sort of mid lake. I'm gonna work my way up um, today, and then potentially maybe if that practice doesn't go too well, we work my way down tomorrow. So that's the plan. Hopefully, I'll tell you what. The one thing I am seeing is water seems like it's falling fairly fast. So uh, that's something that you gotta be careful about because that water drops that fast. It's very similar, this tournament's gonna be real similar to Smith Lake, I think. But there's a little bit more bushes in the water and stuff like that, so we're gonna find out. I'm excited to get out here and uh, go run around and see what we find. Two foot of visibility. All these boat, boat traffic though. Oh, I'm not seeing what I wanna see yet. Water clarity is pretty. I'll give you that. Not seeing what I want to see. I'll tell you what, that boat right there have a tough time going anywhere. See that missing prop? That ain't no, that ain't no fun. I dropped that sucker in the water. You ain't gonna go far. They ain't got a troll motor, so dress so up. <laughs> he, he went flying. I thought it was another large. I thought it was a large mouth. I mean, it doinked it. They're around these docks, but had like four bites maybe. Oh, spot. Big spot. Woo. Gosh. Dang. That's a big old spot. <laughs> That's a big old table rock spot anyway. Look how fat that fish is. Gosh. Unbelievable. That fish is probably like close to two and a half pound. Two and a half pounder. Dang. All right. Let's go find another spot. I'm going to cost a couple, seeing what they're doing a little bit. Let's see if we can't find us some large enough mix with them a little bit. It's definitely happening. Just, we got to find the right area. That work for you? Uh, you know, we're just catching some bass. Y'all love his deal so much. It's like so hard for me not to like, oh. Spot. It's happening. It's happening. I'm not saying you have to. If there's two two plus pound spots, you don't have to find large mouth. My trailer's jacked up. I'm gonna get a new trailer on, and then we'll roll. right there like can i tell you this i love this watercolor like love it gosh it's so good freaking good it's so pretty water clarity is like i will dent i will stain it's good cleaned up too much back here but we'll make like 10 casts and go i'm just, i'm always a big fan when i'm trying to find Shad spawn on round boat docks, which is probably one of my favorite things to do, is uh, find a little bit of dinge. It doesn't mean it has to be like dirty, it just needs to have a little bit of color to it. So I rolled in the back of this creek thinking, hey, big concentration of largemouth, live in a creek, a lot of spawning pockets, 
water's gonna be a little dirtier and the water got cleaner. So not exactly what I want. Still make a couple casts around these dots to make sure, but it's, and this might not even be the deal. I'm not seeing any like shad activity around a lot of this stuff, but that's just like the process of elimination. You have to sort of have a checklist to find a few bass. Early in the morning, beautiful around here. I'll tell you that, water's really clear. There's some big bass around this place. We gotta move, guys. We gotta move. This is not a good look. See, halfway back, it's not. It's clean. It's not, like, way back there, it's clean. But right here, it's dirtier. I wrecked it. Same slip. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Not big ones, but end of a slip. Let's see if there's another bite there. I'll shake him off. There is. You're gonna want a two pound to death in spots. You don't want a pound, a pound and a half. I'd like to find a place where they're mixed in good. Where you set the hook and it's like, tunk. big large mouth, pound and a half spot, big large mouth. Two pound large mouth, pound and three quarter spot. Them spots are fat though, I'll give them that. They are not, they look healthy. I'm sitting there just running around. It's winter time, oh it's cool this morning. No, before you know it, it's like, oh, oh my, oh my God. <laughs> it's too damn hot out here. <laughs> you know, I'm overheating. You know how your truck overheats? You're on the side of the road steaming? <laughs> I did 30 days overheating. You gotta get this in water. Check engine light on. <laughs> right, yeah. Check engine <laughs> Check engine light. Oh my god, you suck it. Are you gonna make me one of these right here? Here, here, here's all you get for lunch. <laughs> I get a, a ham cucumber. <laughs> a half a one. A half a cucumber. Half a cucumber and a banana. There's a couple of bananas, man. Gosh, dang. Oh, this is how it is these days. You want a sandwich? Yeah. I'll make you one. Dang. You, you know what? You ain't You ain't, you half, ain't bad. half bad. You, you ain't, ain't half bad. You ain't bad. Hey, you ain't getting no mayonnaise on here, though. That's fine. Just, so, just, throw, just throw it on there. I don't care. So. Hey, anything you make, man. I know it's made with love, so that's right. It's like Arby's. We got the beef. DC, you can start your own name shop. <coughs> we got the beefs. We got the beef. And Pepper Jack. Yeah. I'm glad you slowed it down with me today. Good. I had to. Look at him yawning over. I had to. Hey. Hey, I had the little one get up about 3.30 this morning just raising. Pain. I said, ah. I sat there. I was trying to keep her. I was trying to keep her quiet a little bit, and dang. So I leash went down here to get a bottle. And I was trying to mm. rock her and keep her quiet, so y'all get a little extra sleep. But man, I tell you, what? she when she got when she wants to eat, she's like you. She. She said, you better, you better let me get some food. Oh, oh. She she gets that lip poked out and it starts shaking. Ooh. I'm like, hey, she has the most cliche baby cry ever. Dude. Sounds just like a baby. It sounds like a baby. Because she it. is a baby. <laughs> 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 All right, man. I'm going to leave you with this sandwich. Yeah, you might eat baby. That's <laughs> all you get. Oh, my God. That's it. I'm going to have Yeah, I'm going to have Well, here, I'm going to let you reach in there. He's only doing this one because we're on video, but it's okay. Dang. I hear you. Oh, that's all good. I like that. That'll be good. I'm just going to throw them on there like that. It's good enough. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, you know how disappointed I'd be if I was at Subway right now and they just threw my meat on there like that. Hey. Hey, so, so it'd no be one like, pee. It'd, it'd be like that. When, when you go to the sandwich shop, Subway, Jimmy John's, whatever you like, and they put too much mayonnaise. Oh, do they load it up? Oh, oh my God. God. I don't God. want, I, I don't want. Hey, hey look, I'm like, can I have some, uh, uh, mayonnaise. Yeah. I say, hey, you want you want some uh, turkey with your mayo? No, no, I want I want mayo on my turkey. Yeah. Can I get a mayonnaise sandwich? It's like it's crazy. It's like they feel bad about not giving you enough meat. 
It's so fun. It's like, I'm going to load up with some mayonnaise. I can't deal with all that mayonnaise, man. I shall kill it. Oh, my God. It's horrible. Yep. So every time you always eat Jimmy John's, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Nah, man. Out, J- Jimmy John's is good. A little bit. It's not that good. Jimmy John's is solid. But okay, look. Best sub shop out there, what do you think? I'm going to tell you what the best. Oh, By I'm going to throw it out there. All right. And if, if my mind would work right now, there's one in Tuscaloosa. Oh, it's a little, it's a small one? A little pop and pop shop? No, it's a... Uh, I'd say the best one is Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's Jersey for Mike's part good. of chain. Numero uno. God, there's one. Fire, right Firehouse right. subs is solid too, but... Yeah, Firehouse is good. Firehouse is solid. There's one in Tuscaloosa. It's a chain? Where I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's where I went to college at, and it is legit. Are you ever ate Pita Pit? Pita Pit? Hey, Pita Pit? Good. Dang. Really? Yeah. yeah. Pita Pit. Chicken Caesar Pita. There you go. Okay. Is that a sub shop? No, oh, it's, a pita, it's, it's a pita. It's a pita. It's a pita shop, bro. Man, hey, man, we were not talking about pita shops. We're talking about soap shops. We well, got my man's got to go here and talk about pita. Hey, look. Yeah. All right. Hey, pita pit. Comes hard. Did yeah. it go hard? In the oh. little town I moved to there in Texas. Unbelievable. It has pita, pita, pita pit. Talking about making money off drunk people. Pita pit kills it. Nice. I'm going out the pond. Do you want half my ice? I went and got two of them. Oh, look at you. Do you hear me? Do we need a sandwich bag? Do we have any? Here you go. Just hang out in the bag. Alright, let's drop on down the bottom. Alright, guys, we're back on the road. Heading to the ramp, it is actually daylight outside. I know I'm slacking this morning. So, I left yesterday. We had an early morning little shot. It's one thing going on, very similar to Smith Lake. Caught a lot of spotted bass on that. Never really caught any largemouth. So, uh, I mean, you can, I mean, spotted bass are fine. There's quite a few, like two, two and a half pounders. Uh, but uh, as the day went on, I spent more of my time trying to idle around and find a couple offshore places that fish were just first starting to come out to. And I never, I found one place, I never found really any more. So, wasn't really excited about that. I had a lull throughout the day, basically from about that nine o'clock hour to probably two. I really did not have very many bites at all. Um, so I decided to go to the clear water. I picked up, you know, a wacky worm, Nico and it had a, quite a few bites on boat docks um, probably 10 or 15 bites and so that was a good deal um, and then on top of that I went to the bank as the well, I got further down the lake and I started to realize there's a lot of fish still spawning a lot of spotted bass still spawning um, some bigger largemouth though too and I picked up a double fluke rig and it seemed like that was the hot tip of the week so um, had probably 20 bites on that so a lot of fish are biting this is going to be a slug fest of a tournament as far as fish catching there should be a lot of two to three pounders caught um, i just think it's ultimately going to be a tournament that you're going to have to be able to adjust to the conditions and and what i mean by that is you're going to be able to have to adjust to when you might be able to catch them on a shad spawn in the morning and then have to make that a little adjustment and then you're going to catch them on a shaky head or catch them doing something else on docks and then you have to run run to the bank so like you're going to have to mix it up every day the bank fish should be going away theoretically, like because it's hotter and like warm and it's middle of May and when the Ozarks and there's still some spawning, but um, theoretically I think the bank fish will go away eventually throughout the tournament. I don't know if it'll be by the end of the tournament or if that'll even be it'll even sustain. Chad spawn fish and those dock fish will stay there. So today we're gonna do a little bit more of the same. Try to try to get back to the area we were in that mid lake region of the of the lake. Try to get back in that tone of the lake and try to expand on what we found yesterday.
like, I want them easy. You pitch a sucker up there. And Two bites. Eesh. Don't get me wrong, they could be big ones, but. Wasn't a big one, but. That was a big one. But man, had three bites this morning and it's not, when we caught, uh, well, I shook them all off, but three good bites, but it's just been, eesh, you need more numbers. That was like, you know, probably a three, four pound large mouth. That's what I felt like, like boom, and it went, eesh, eesh, eesh. so, gotta get another trailer real quick here. Oh man. Big old one. I see any color. Still swimming with it. I got four pound large now. Yeah, I like it. get a couple of them big quality bites in the morning and then nickel and dime them from there I think. Not saying I can't catch some big ones later in the day, but I would like to catch a couple of big large that would be fun. Huh. Uh -huh. We got us another one on the, I might do a better job of putting the hook cover on. <laughs> Cause that is not work. I mean, it's working most of the time. Cause like that one actually got in the corner of his lid. Like there's no barb or nothing. Spot. Largo shad. Bites uh, on, a, on a wacky worm. It's a lot of the same. I actually had a couple of bites on, on a double food ring, so a lot of the same. But uh, now the sun's sort of getting up, bluebird skies. It's going to get tough. So well, the only thing we do have is we have a little bit of wind, so that does help things. But I just I, I can't drag around. I'm not a dragger, so I'm going to go do my thing, fish specific things, and whether it's a dock or whether it's you know. Uh, uh, dock or a pocket, you know, I gotta run around and sort of expand on that pattern that I got on yesterday. Big. Yeah. Yeah. He hooked himself 
Watch him go across yeah. the thing and out. Stop sign. <laughs> Stop. Your boat right here. <laughs> Alright, let's go for each five of them. But it's gonna thunderstorm. Day one of competition. I hate I, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. Me, I hate thunderstorms. Hate them. Not because of the dang fact that you might get struck by lightning. I hate that too. But it comes down to the fact that the fish start acting really goofy and not getting on the stuff they were on to practice and messing around and freaking be also spending stuff. It's garbage. But we're gonna catch a couple off that dog right there. Yeah, like three bites off this. Hey, that's what's up. You gotta keep finding them. I'm gonna a couple more dogs. But while the thunderstorms are supposed to roll in. Unbelievable. What are the odds of that? Like for real though. Like, what are the odds of that? That makes fish act so goofy. Like, I, I, I don't even know what to say.
Not feeling too good about this double flute rig as it used to be. I, it's like it's a new day and the fish are just acting all weird. I'm not seeing nearly as many up shallow. I mean, I've had some bites, I'm doing me wrong. There's nothing like I thought. Two more hours to go. I'm gonna give a couple hours, one more hour to probably fishing, or at least about 21 minutes to fishing shallow. Maybe get 40 minutes to fish in a few more boat docks and then pull out a single swim bait and a net rig and go fish off on some points and probably 15 to 25 and just drag around a little bit. Oh, with the rain coming and that potential thunderstorms, I got burnt last time. So I'm trying to sort of do something that I feel like would be not saying bulletproof, but a little bit better off if that, because those conditions end up being that way, at least to survive that day. We at least have two days of competition, so, you know, if, if that is the case, then it could get, uh, we just to see. Right now. Haven't had very many, haven't had a bite on this thing. A little swim bait, a spinner pole, flatter point, textbook, spotted bass, large mouth, small mouth, pre spawn or post spawn stuff. Wind's blowing, can't go wrong. Should go, yeah. Hmm. Rookie mistake. You look at the camera, you look below the camera. Okay, you look above the camera, below the camera. There you go. Look, livers. Look. <gasps> Who is that? Like, uh, Who, is no. that? Who is that? Who is that? Libby. What you doing? Oh, she said, oh. Yeah. Libby. Olivia. <laughs> Kind of tired. She's definitely tired. <laughs> oh, not as tired as I am, though. I don't know. She got up earlier than you did today, babe. Yeah, Four. But she's taking naps. Yeah, she did. That's right. Can they not put down here? I don't know.
Hmm. Well, I'm just sort of wrapping up some uh, some tackle prep for the night anyway. I, I wanted to sort of get a jump start on this and get a couple rods rigged up while we still had daylight. We have uh, the midway tomorrow and so start of competition starts tomorrow. Adrian and Mark will start day number one of competition. So we'll sort of get a sit back, look at score tracker and see what ends up going down. I assume it's going to be unbelievable how many fish are caught. Um, some really nice fish are going to be caught. Obviously some big spots, small mouth and large mouth. Um, but we're just sort of trying to prep as much as I possibly can because I got my little one in the house, my wife's here, so I'm just sort of trying to get all this stuff done so that way I can just sort of relax, take it easy, kick back, I'm going to enjoy the evening. So, that is the plan. I got a few more things I got to rig up, but overall it's not, it's not going too bad. It's not going too awful bad anyway. This one right here would actually be a good... I don't think I'll use the spoon rod. All right, everybody, we are here on the patio. Got a pool table in the back. MDJ, yes, sir. or also known as the chef. Chef Boyardee. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna show you all what we got right here. Hey, Mark, he's been cooking up a storm. Shh. Zucchini, corn on the cob, and then that chicken, man. Hey, looking absolutely unbelievable, the ladies have been looking out this week, my wife and Mark's Tanisha looking out. Absolutely got a big shout out to them. But um, yeah, so Mark starts tomorrow. Group A. Gotta catch him. Hey, him and Adrian are group A. DC and I are group B. So we have a day off, sort of a time to, to recharge our batteries a little bit. And um, I'm, I'm wishing my man MDJ the best in getting it done tomorrow and Adrian he's still out there rigging I think so we're about getting ready to chow down on some food <laughs>